The design of self-excited generators includes inductors M, connected to external contact EMF source, and the armature A that is closed to the external network. In case of an open external circuit, the voltmeter connected to the armature clamp measured induced EMF. The EMF relation to existing current is called the non-load characteristic. The figure shows the characteristic curve at the constant rotation rate. Note that small exciting current oscillators have slight impacts on the EMF value. The relation of the voltage applied to armature clamps to current flowing in the external circuit at constant exciting current and armature rotation rate is called the load or external characteristic. An autonomous power supply for indicators is a prerequisite. Due to residual magnetization, the generator's armature is always exposed to the magnetic field, though such field is not intensive. If you connect the armature to the inductors and set in rotation, a weak current can slightly magnetize inductors. This will cause high EMF and current and consequently further magnetization. As a result, the magnetic flux reaches the normal value and the generator will self-excite and start normal operation. This principle is known as self-excitement. It is employed in most up-to-date generators.